ਡੀਸੀ ਦੀ ਸੁਬਾਈ ਸਿਹਤ ਅਧਿਕਾਰੀ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਬੋਨੀ ਹੈਨਰੀ ਦਾ ਕਹਿਣਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਸੂਬੇ ਅੰਦਰ ਵੈਕਸੀਨ ਪਾਸਪੋਰਟ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਨੂੰ 30 ਜੂਨ ਤੱਕ ਵਧਾਇਆ ਜਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਬੋਨੀ ਹੈਨਰੀ ਨੇ ਵੀ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ 12 ਸਾਲ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਉਮਰ ਦੇ ਹਰ ਵਿਅਕਤੀ ਤੇ ਲਾਗੂ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਜੇਕਰ ਸੂਬੇ ਅੰਦਰ ਹਸਪਤਾਲ 'ਚ ਮਰੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਦੀ ਭਰਤੀ ਹੋਣ ਦੀ ਦਰ 'ਚ ਕਮੀ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਤਾਂ ਇਸ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਨੂੰ 30 ਜੂਨ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਵੀ ਖਤਮ ਕੀਤਾ ਜਾ ਸਕਦਾ ਹੈ ਜ਼ਿਕਰ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਕਿ ਇਸ ਸਮੇਂ ਬੀਸੀ ਅੰਦਰ 1000 ਲੋਕ ਕੋਵਿਡ ਕਾਰਨ ਹਸਪਤਾਲ 'ਚ ਭਰਤੀ ਨੇ we do continue to see a gradual decline in our case rates over time and a leveling off of the test positivity and as you know um the numbers of daily cases gives us a sense of trends using that one piece of surveillance data but we also have other surveillance data that um also supports that we are on that downward trend in community infections but at the same time the number of people in hospital remains high and it's the highest it has been in our pandemic and it's putting significant strain on our health care system as our pandemic evolves and omicron brings these new challenges we have evolved our pandemic response and i've talked quite a bit about that in the last uh, two weeks we do however need to continue uh, the number of measures that we have in place in the community and those also have been working to try and mitigate those risks even when there is um risk of, of milder disease so uh, with that in mind we will be extending the bc vaccine card program through to june 30th and it will continue to apply to people over the age of 12 If we are in a better place before June 30th however we will look to make adjustments early the v- the BC vaccine card program is specifically designed to address those and mitigate those risks that allow us to keep certain businesses and activities open during the period of the pandemic as we move through this period it will i expect no longer be necessary but right now it is one of those important tools that we have as 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 mentioned with uh, has been the case all along with a sudden surge it takes time to gather and reassess and assess the data in recent days there have been a number of publications three studies from the US uh, we've looked at um, additional information from Ontario from uh, Japan from South Korea and it really tells us right now that those booster doses give good strong protection against omicron as well it boosts up that protection for severe disease and hospitalization but it also decreases your risk of contracting the virus probably by about 50 to 60%. So it is not 100%. It's not as high as we saw with all of the other strains that we see and particularly that really important protection against the severeness of delta. But it is important and it does stop your risk of transmitting to those who are closest to you as and your risk of contracting 